so welcome. Wow, look at all that leg room back there, Seth. I can't believe we've got you in the back. The biggest <laughs> guy in the back. I like to get the you third rotation out, out of the right way. Here. Yeah, you can put your leg there. <laughs> Stretch yeah. out. Make yourself comfortable. Yeah. So one of the first things we'll do, we're gonna get um, we're on entertainment kicking for us. Okay. So essentially, we just wanted to walk you guys through a couple of the updates to infotainment specifically and how that kind of operates within the vehicle. Um, when you take a look at this interface here, you can see hopefully that it was designed to mimic a smartphone in the way that it works. Um, you kind of swipe right, you have the ability to customize this stuff to drag and drop and reposition things uh, as you would want to have them handy. Yep. And for the things that you're using frequently all the time on every vehicle, we have three favorite positions up here. So that's going to be as simple as dragging and dropping. Um, and that shows up on any screen that you're in. So it's always very easy to get to the, the tools that you use most. Additionally, you'll see that the current screen and what's being used is also going to be right up here. Help. So it's easy to get back to. Um, one of the, the really cool features of this car that is a first time for Honda is Cabin Watch and Cabin Talk, so you've probably heard us talk about those before. Cabin Watch, we have cameras that obviously are showing second and third row. Uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. And for this was intended and really dropped up for families with rear-facing car seats in the second mm. row. Right, so this allows you to pinch and zoom in to be able to check on a child back there. Um, additionally, so it was. The <laughs> yeah, these are the cameras, yes. And uh, they're infrared as well, so even at night you're going to be able to see what's happening back there. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you can actually position to make sure that you've always got the view on one particular troublemaker, right? <laughs> yes, you got that. Side. We know who that is. <laughs> Additionally, cabin talk. So this is going to allow you to speak from the driver or the front passenger seat, and it actually is pumping your voice through the headphones for the rear entertainment system. Yeah, so you pull up to the drive through. Where, where are the headphones? Yes. They're right here. Similar to, um, <laughs> do you want to talk to me right now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't hear Is anything. Is it pumping the sound through? You might need to actually turn them on. <laughs> <laughs> Technology. <laughs> Technology. Wow. But here, here's another example. So, on top. yeah, this is, um, we need the volume up a little bit. Oh, here. yeah. I hear you loud and clear. Can you, hear you feel obedient? Yeah. Yeah. No. So no. the voice is actually <laughs> being, oh, yeah. being microphoned back there. And Why additionally, in the head mimic the, like, high school, uh, yeah, the sound. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everybody stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> <laughs> so you can hear the whole... Can you say, don't yes. make me come back there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> stop this car. <laughs> we'll put that volume down. Um, but yeah, same, so same thing, similar to a pilot speaking that's in crazy. an airplane. It will actually stop the entertainment that's being shown. Oh, in like on the, the airplane. airplane. Oh, yeah. How did you get so, to that again? I hate it when that happens. When you go to, um, there's a couple ways to get to it, right. So you can go right from Cabin Watch when you're checking out, you can hit there, or you can actually get to Cabin Talk right on the screen itself. And again, these will be in a different position if, if you... Yeah, yeah, but they'll be on them, one right? of... Yes, exactly. You so the position, okay. That's right. There are an indefinite number of screens that you can do. The only um, the only standard is that there will always be eight tiles on the screen. Unless you, let's say you hide everything but navigation and cabin watch and Bluetooth. That way you just have three tiles on your first screen. So, so it is, is there it's like an app store tool. that we can add apps to that screen over time? Yes. Um, yes. So this is where you're going to get kind of all of your choices. Sim not an app store, but mm -hmm. similar in nature. This is where you're going to pick and choose for customization. Right. And then in the future, if there were additional ones, would yeah. that be something you do over the air? Or is that something you would get from the dealer? Or over the air. Yep. Over the air. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show, which is kind of cool, is the How Much Farther app. Yeah. So you might have heard of that. That's going to be rear entertainment mm -hmm. focused. Um, if we go ahead and pick a destination. So using the remote, guys. Please drive to highlighted route. 
Can you see it populating back there? Yeah. So this is going to show the yeah. kids exactly how much time they've got left in the trip. There are um, marbles at the bottom of the screen. Each marble represents five minutes. So once you have 35 minutes remaining on the trip, you'll start to see those marbles drop off one by one to visually show how much time there is left before your arrival. Is it interactive with the kids at all? I mean, other than them watching it, can they do anything? No, not on this one. There are different screens that you can choose from, though. Um, and you can do that, actually, with the remote control. But one of them features Honda Jet flying through the sky. Uh, one of them features a camouflaged vehicle. So just that sort of interactivity level. And they can always yell. <laughs> Are we there yet, right? <laughs> yes, they That's can the always yell. Are we there yet? <laughs> Yeah, will it respond? Yeah. Thank no, you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something like that. So the other thing that you guys will have in the vehicles too are these phones. Um, these are intended for demos of the cabin control app. Um, so once you get there too, with your guests and your fami families, they'll be able to show the kids how to use the app as well. Essentially, this is going to allow anyone in the second and third row to have control over the rear HVAC. So they'll be able to adjust the temperature in the fan and the rear climate control settings using the phone. Um, they'll also have access to what we call social playlists. That allows up to seven people in the vehicle to contribute their music to the front. So everyone, kind of like a virtual jukebox, everyone can be inputting music from their personal <laughs> devices. The driver and front passenger have the right to veto said right. music okay. if they'd like. Um, let's see. I'll show you what that looks like. And this, of course, can be downloaded on any phone that has Wi-Fi access. So a child wouldn't have to have a data plan or anything like that to be able to use well, it. Well, we need a password to connect to the uh, in-vehicle Wi-Fi. Yeah, and the password on every vehicle is one two three four five six seven eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. hey, Jessica, how big is the sort of active soft screen there? Because I know it's in a frame that makes it look a little. Eight inches. Eight inches. Yeah. Yeah. How's that third row looking for you? It's good. I gotta get a. When everybody's out, so I'm not. I gotta get the feet stretched out picture. But honestly, like, <laughs> I don't know that I could really. No, well, actually, it's not that bad. It's headroom more than legroom. For me. How tall are you? Six five. So That's pretty good. A little bit larger than the average child. <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just a bit. Tiny bit. Is so more, is, is you guys can see here the climate being adjusted from the app itself. We can crank it up, adjust the temp, all that good stuff. You can so. lock that out to the front? Yep, you can really easily lock it out right here, you'll okay. see. Yep. Um, and then Navi as well, this is kind of convenient. Uh, you can actually go to your destinations here and go ahead, pick a destination to send to the driver. You're going to see it pops up here and allows the driver to accept that, add it to its current route. Um, Please so, drive to highlighted route. You know, the idea with everything that the Honda Odyssey has developed on is really just engaging the entire family, right? Keeping everyone happy, mm -hmm. talking, conversing, if that's what they want to do, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but making them able to do that. So even things like just amping voices in the back, um, and I think you guys will find when you're out there today that lead throughout really are quiet. You can talk at a normal voice level and be speaking to someone in the third row mm -hmm. really easily. When you when you decide you want to corner the minivan market and have no one buy anything else, you put in the cone of silence. You can electronically isolate each person. You, the taxi draw, the taxi partition, right? Just like a clear plexiglass wall. Well, that has to be, you know, Oh, electronic anti-sound from above. Yeah, shuts yeah, out all noise of course. So the kids cannot communicate with one another. <laughs> oh yeah, multiple walls. I suppose oh, yes. you would Each need would have right. Each cone of silence. Yeah. That locked into <laughs> the border that I one shall not them, cross. They can't hear yeah, each other. yeah. Um, so you guys will also have movies. We've got the movie tray right up here. If you want to use any of those instead of the streaming um, entertainment. Cool. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Yeah, any um. Initial cues. We'll walk you through the rest of it out at the vehicles themselves, and yeah, try out. Have the kids or whomever's riding with you try out cabin control from the second and third rows. And um, if they have any questions, we'll walk you through when we get to the vehicles themselves. So. What do you? What do you?